South Korea, population of 51 million people, has accomplished on introducing the culture to the world and through K-pop, K-beauty, K-food, our culture has influenced many lives in the world and taught people how to enjoy lives in our ways. And this, this is about beer. Something that's globally connected and what we all enjoy in life. No differences in our background. K-beer. This is Beer Tour in Seoul. Hello everyone! Welcome back to Beer Tour in Seoul. My name is Jonathan and I will be talking about Capri. Capri is one of the cheapest beer that you can enjoy in South Korea. Um, a lot of people who enjoy beer and who had a taste of Capri has referred this beer as the Korean version of the beer Corona from Mexico. Well, I, I too love Corona. It's one of the beer, one of the best beer that you can enjoy. And I always love that having a piece of lime uh, put into the glass of beer Corona. But ever since the, the pandemic, COVID has uh, became a serious situation. I think a lot of liquor shops or beer shops has pulled out Corona from the listings. Quite an unfortunate situation where global disease name has to rhyme or literally be the same exact same word as the one of the greatest beer in the history. Well, that being said, it's very unfortunate. See, I do hope to see the beer Corona comes back to the market again. Well, it's still there, but it's a lot of people just you know, for some reason, they avoid drinking Corona, especially in this situation. It's quite unfortunate, yes. So, let's try uh, the Korean version of the beer Corona, Capri. So here is Capri, the premium beer. As you can see, it has a very original standard level on a bottle with a sun with a face symbol at the bottom. And its alcohol is 4.2%. It's a smooth and refreshing taste, superior quality beer. As already mentioned, the, this beer is referred as uh, the Korean style of the beer Corona. Uh, well, the beer Corona is imported here in South Korea and like any other imported beers from the overseas uh, from other countries, it may seem a little bit more expensive from the local areas and that's an obvious factor so few of people have left a review saying that this is a nice alternative beer so ever since i came back from canada it's been a quite a long time seeing a bottled beer with a twist cap at the top of the tip i mean it's convenient it's always convenient but it's i feel that uh twisting and opening a bottle beer is uh, it's not the right way. I don't think it's the right manner to enjoy a bottle of beer. It's actually you have to have a cap opener and that's the merit of drinking a bottle of beer. So well, let's try Capri. Oh, not this one. This one is for you to see. Let's drink this one. Here we go. Well, not enough foams are accumulating. Let's try to pour it down. Oh, before I pour it down in a glass, let's start with the flavor, the smell. Scent. Well, it's very light and it feels as almost if I'm smelling off a barley tea and just a little bit of alcohol. And that's about it. No citrus, no hop at all. It's gonna repeat again. It's, it smells like barley tea with alcohol. <laughs> Strange. Let's pour it down. There's a small amount of foams accumulated at the top of the liquid. And as I spin down, this. And you can tell uh, the, the time it takes the foam to clear away, you can see how much proteins are in this beer. Well, before I drink this, um, this is Korean version of the beer Corona. Uh, a lot of people had left the review saying that it's a it's not exactly a same as the standard beer Corona, but the taste doesn't fall too much behind it. Okay, let's drink it and see if that's true. Hmm. 
overall flavor and taste, yes, it does remind me of the beer Corona. Yes, uh, there, there are no foams and uh, grainy malt flavors with no hop. And the mouth feel is light but not watery. Just try it once more. Well, yes, it, it it really reminds me of the beer Corona. However, so light that it it <laughs> taste almost makes me feel that it's made of boiling pot of barley tea and add with sufficient amount of alcohol. It's very light, yes, um, but I don't know. Well. The color is pale yellow and the turbidity is clear. The taste is similar to Corona, but hmm. Yeah, I can't I can't say anything else but it's it's making me think that it's made of barley tea mixed with alcohol. Hmm. Well if you had a taste of Obi's beer and they have the cloud, I think? No, it's not cloud. The cloud is cloud. Caffrey is manufactured by OB. OB is one of the uh, biggest mass producing beer company in South Korea. For me, in my perspective, OB has that similar taste to their varietyness of their own beers. And that taste is that, you know, like barley tea and not mixed with alcohol. And a lot of carbonation of the Korean beers are always heavily carbonated. They somehow turned their the OB beer, their own taste of beer, similar to Corona. However, it only reminds you the Corona beer, the beer Corona, for the first few seconds. But in the end, this is another OB's production because you know how it tastes like. If you had a taste, you know what I'm talking about. This is. <laughs> I can put a blindfold, have a taste, and uh, I can give a name of the company with just a taste like this. It's all this production, yes. Uh, heavily carbonated, enjoyable, yes. It's very light. It reminds you of the beer Corona. Well, they say it's a nice alternative beer to drink when the beer Corona is expensive in foreign countries because it's imported. However, I would rather drink the beer Corona. If you're one of those people who are relating the pandemic, global pandemic COVID disease name with the beer Corona and you're afraid to drink it, try this. It's, they say it's a nice alternative. It, 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 it gives you a sufficient amount of taste and flavor that reminds you of the beer Corona, yes. At the same time, it's Korean beer, heavily carbonated, very light, in my perspective, barley tea mixed with sufficient amount of alcohol and they just added carbonation somehow. That's how it tastes like, really. Well, the price goes from two to four dollars in Korea. It's very cheap beer and I think this could be a enjoyable beer and could be an alternative to the beer Corona. And yes, you can enjoy this with a lime too. The overall score for this beer, I would give a uh, two and a half out of five. Uh, although this is a cheap Light beer, one of the classic, high, heavily carbonated Korean beer. Uh, just makes me feel that it, try, it was trying to not make their own type of beer, but trying to copy off the beer Corona. And at the same time, the beer tastes like a barley tea with mixed with alcohol. And then there is that distinctive flavor that OB company has in, in their manufactured beers. So it's not something new, you know. This is not a new beer to the beer world. It's not a new taste. So generally I'll just give overall a 2.5 out of 5. It's in a bottle. I enjoy, I used to enjoy 
drinking out the bottle up to the point where one of my friends in college tells me that the bottle that we use every time it was returned to the manufactured company and that sometimes they don't make sure to clean it. I mean, they do clean it, but sometimes it's not fully cleansed. So it's safe to just pour it in a glass and drink it off your own cup instead of just sipping from the tip of this beer. But for my own sake of memory, I'll just you know, drink it off the top of the tip. This is how you're supposed to drink. From a bottle, yes. <laughs> yep. Just first few seconds reminds you of the beer Corona, and then it just becomes Obi's classic distinctive taste that they have. So, thank you very much for watching my video again. This is a nice alternative. Beer Corona, but I would honestly just drink Beer Corona. It's, although Beer Corona is more expensive than this, but it's worth it. Try it. It's uh, not bad. Not bad. Light, but not neat. No other way of saying, but it's, it only has that obese distinctive taste. Well, thank you very much for watching the video and. Please subscribe to my channel and like my video and I will see you next time in the next video next week. Bye bye. Oh, just before I go, one of my friends taught me how to uh, pour beer into a cup. And this is how he does. Oh my! This way you can create more forms than it usually does by just Tipping the uh, bottle to the side a little bit and pouring down the side by the by the side uh, by on the side of the cup. It's more fun than usual. <laughs> if you see that bottle and you put it around that, it becomes a tuba dance, you know. Stop it!